like, share, and subscribe. Introduction to Arduino In this video, we will learn about the basic operations of Arduino and its applications. Let's begin with the introduction to microcontroller. Hello, innovators. Did you know that each one of us is using at least 20 microcontrollers in our house? Well, that's a fact. Your electrical appliances, computer keyboards, all consist of an inbuilt circuit called microcontroller. And these are present everywhere around us. There are more than 2 billion microcontrollers being produced every year. We will share with you some interesting details about microcontrollers and how they work. A microcontroller is an integrated circuit. It functions the same way as a miniature computer that comes in variety of packages and sizes. Microcontrollers are everywhere. Whether you are driving your car, working on your computer or smartphone or tablet or making a cup of coffee using your coffee machine, Microcontrollers are present everywhere around you. Now most microcontrollers contain at least three key components. One is the processor core, which acts as a brain of the microcontroller. The second is the memory, which contains instructions that tell the brain what to do. And the third is input and output for processing external peripherals. What is the invention story of this powerful chip? Well, it was during 1970s, after the microprocessors were introduced, that a need for a single hardware chip was felt, which would contain all the functions and hardware for a complete computer system. Gary Boone of Texas Instruments was working on quite a similar concept and invented the microcontroller. Boone designed a single integrated circuit chip that could hold nearly all the essential circuits to form a calculator. We will understand the functioning of a microcontroller with the help of an example of a mother bird collecting worms for her chicks, as you can see on the screen. Here, each worm represents an operation. The core or the chicks in this case execute an operation while the next one is being fetched. This simultaneous fetching and execution is called a pipeline and it is a faster and a more efficient way. Let's see the full cycle of a microcontroller. First, an operation is fetched from the program memory. This operation will access the data from temporary storage for inputs and outputs as ones or zeros. This operation is then executed by the processor core as the next instruction is simultaneously being fetched. The new instructions are fetched and then executed and this cycle repeats until the board finishes its running. And when the microcontroller reset, the entire cycle starts again. Microcontrollers are used in most modern electronic devices that we use on an everyday basis. For example, let's take a look at the key of your car. You press a button and the car unlocks. But have you ever wondered how this works? Let us share it with you. A key, like a microcontroller, contains at least three main components. The buttons, the microcontroller itself, and a transmitter. Now when a button is pressed, it sends a signal directly to the microcontroller and the microcontroller runs the specific task and the car unlocks. There are different types of microcontrollers around us and based on different architectures, the names of a few are AVR-based microcontroller, PIC-based microcontroller, ARM-based microcontroller and many more. Getting started with Arduino, let us discuss Arduino microcontroller launched by AVR. Let's talk about what is Arduino. Arduino Uno is a microcontroller board based on 8-bit Atmega 328p microcontroller. It can read inputs and then convert it into outputs. 
It can even run a program you write on your computer. You can control real-world hardware lights, motors, and other computers using this. You can interface temperature sensors, accelerometer, GPS, and a lot of other things. Hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions or doubts, you may write to us at the email address mentioned below. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe.